What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Epic 7. It is an early morning here down in Southwest Florida and you guys know what that means on Wednesday morning. It is update time and today's update is going to be a very, very short update. It is probably the least amount of content we've had um, even though we do have a new banner, a new side story. Obviously we are excited for the collab for Guilty Gear. There is one little uh, image I will show at the end of the video but let's go ahead and hop into what we have for this week. So this week we are going to have Ken and Haste banner round three. As always, it is going to be a one week banner for these older drop rate up banners. Um, despite the fact that Ken especially and even Haste are two of the top tier units in the game, more Ken, um, you know, his buff was just insanely massive. Definitely the best buff we've ever had for a character. Um, and he's useful in so many different contents of the game, whether it's, you know, PvP, Guild War, Abyss Towers, definitely one of the top three units in Golem. Um, he's useful in Raid as well. He has a lot of good morale comps for Raid. Um, but just with the collab being around the corner, the fact that collab more than likely are going to be limited time guaranteed heroes, um, you don't want to really want to risk that. Plus the fact is he does share that drop rate up with Haste. Me, for instance, when I was gunning for Crow, I wish I, in hindsight, would have saved my currency and just gone full in on this area. Um, didn't get her. Uh, and Haste, uh, obviously, um, if you guys already have her, or have him, sorry, then you may want to pass on this banner. And keep in mind, guys, that these units are in every single banner um, outside of limited banners. So you always have the opportunity to pull them on your daily summon. You have your opportunity to pull them on off banner, you know, potential. So I just, guys, it's a week away, especially if you guys do not have 1,210 bookmarks, I would definitely not pull on this. If you guys are sitting on like 2,000 bookmarks, go for it, because you guys got that 200, uh, 1,210 to guarantee get the two new collab heroes, but if you guys are short at all, definitely pass on that, all right? So let's go into the side story. This side story was already released in Korea, so I'm not sure on the Korea server, um, on their patch notes if they actually are going to have this side story come back and they can get the rewards again or if they are only getting the banner and not a side story. Um, kind of unfortunate for us to be honest. I wish the side story would have came out like maybe last week so that this would actually end by the time the collab banner comes out because more than likely we are going to get a, the first week side story um, for the collab stuff next week. So you guys really have the pressure on this week to finish this entire side story before next Wednesday because then you're gonna have two side stories to try to juggle um, to get all the rewards. Now, a lot of people may only go down here and get like the good rewards, like the high-end rewards, like the Epic Catalyst, um, the Small Suns Badge, um, possibly just because that's used for a lot of characters. Um, I can't even, this is an image, so I can't even like highlight that, highlight particular things. But anyway, um, obviously the Mulgore Seed, probably the most useful reward in here, then I would say probably the Epic Catalyst. Then you guys are gonna wanna get those bookmarks, you know, three summons there. Um, I would say definitely get the artifact charms, um, are always insanely useful. And then I would say get the penguins simply because of the amount of gold and transmit stones you guys can sell those for. I would not recommend feeding those in, um, especially right now we're in a very big kind of um, planning period. So you guys have lots and lots of time to level up your heroes. So I would definitely, you know, sell those penguins and not use them as Evo fodder. Um, and then there's some Giga Phantasms as well if you guys are still lacking on gold dogs. Um, so I would say the things to skip if you guys feel like you're not going to have the time or the energy to completely invest and buy out the entire shop is to probably skip the, uh, the ruins and to skip the regular catalyst if you have to skip something. If you're really in a time crunch for this event... Um, would be my recommendation. So definitely keep that in mind, guys. And then here we are gonna have the reputation rewards, same stuff, leaves, gold, rare catalyst chests, um, sky stones, silver transmit stones, more sky stones, and more type of coveted bookmarks. So overall, you're gonna get five summons from the bookmarks. Um, and usually I wanna say it's like something, isn't it like a hundred sky stones in the region reward, something like that. So generally we get like total, like between like, I think it's like 200 sky stones or so from the side stories and then obviously the leaves and stuff, but still you're gonna have to dump into energy. Generally it takes 2,500 to 3,000 energy 
um, to buy out the shop or more, depending on what level of difficulty you guys farm. I actually am probably just going to farm on hell um, or whatever mode I can farm to only bring one fodder just to try to be, get this shop burned out as fast as possible. If you guys are trying to um, make the most of your energy as far as EXP and leveling fodder, then you're going to want to farm probably on uh, easy or normal. Um, but if you guys are wanting to just get this shop done as fast as humanly possible, then I would highly recommend you farm the highest difficulty you can. If you still want to level a little bit of fodder along the way, then you may want to do um, either normal or hard. So it uh, depends on your box if on hell you can bring a fodder or not. Um, we'll have to see there. And then there's some other miscellaneous bug fixes. Um, I'm not gonna go into all these things. We uh, the One good thing to note is the Powder of Knowledge shop is going to update when we get the update for the first part of the collab. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then here for revenge battles, players will not receive victory points and conquest points after engaging in more than three revenge battles with the same opponent. If players challenge an opponent more than three times in one day, a flag will be consumed and repeat count will increase, but the player will not receive additional rewards. Okay. So for these, I never really even pay attention to revenge battles, to be honest. So I don't, I never really uh, paid that any attention. Um, so outside of that, um, they said an artifact improvements have been made to make easier to limit break artifacts. I don't know what they're going to do for that. Like, does that mean a dupe's going to be worth two limit breaks or something? Or are they going to be releasing a new item that's going to release to bring um, artifact breaks easier? Like, they just say improvements have been made. Like, what is the improvements? Like, Smilegate, that's very, very vague. Because as of right now, from just these patch notes, you're not telling us any improvements. So, yeah. Don't know what that's up with that. And then other UI... Just normal BS fixes that doesn't really matter. But here you guys can see here, we do have the artwork here for uh, one of the promos that they're gonna be using for the Guilty Gear X2 collab is what they're gonna be going off of that game particularly. Um, so we have Eno, sorry, now I know how to pronounce the name correctly. So Eno, um, and then we have uh, Bacon or Biken is what you guys like to call her. Uh, then we have Dizzy and then we have Soul. So, if I had to guess, I could see Soul being a free-to-play character, um, but I actually really want him to be an, a, a banner character, because generally the banner characters are always going to be better, um, and I really, really love his character design, um, and the fact that he's the protagonist, I really hope that he is going to be the banner character. Um, I think, like, if I had to guess, I think we could see um, Eno as maybe a free-to-play character. Um, but, you know, chances are, uh, the way Smallgate works, because, like, like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Raz is the protagonist for Epic 7, and he's garbage, and he's the, <laughs> he's the free-to-play character. So, um, they could be doing the same thing with Soul. I'm not saying Soul will be garbage, but he probably is not going to be as good as the banner character. So, maybe they are going to keep this waifu-centric, and one, two of the three, two of the three girls that we are going to have is going to be the banner characters. Um, but, you know, it would be cool to have, at least since we only have one dude character, to have him as a banner character would be nice. And we may get one of the female characters as a free-to-play character. So, obviously, we know there is going to be a... I believe they said this is going to be the side story or something like that. It's probably going to be a free character. Now, they could do a login character. Um, a lot of games do that. Like, Demachi Mora Freeze is notorious for giving a collab character as a free login character. You just log in for free, and then you actually can, like, max limit break or unbind or however the game works um, throughout the event, like the story event. They get that character maxed out. Um, so we could see that as a login character, maybe for one, and then it cut just, and then the story gives you another character. So they could be doing that, like, probably will wait to the end of the story to get, like, the character or to max, you know, awaken or unbind the character. Um... So we could see that with these characters and then have the two banner characters, or we could see a challenge mode after the current challenge ends, maybe towards the end of the event, we could see the last character being released, but hopefully they'll release at least the details on how these four characters will be acquired. Um, chances are if they release three of the details, then the final character will probably be the last banner 
um, for this event. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. What you guys think of the Guilty Gear collab as well as the updates this week. There isn't really too much to talk about. You know, side story, do that. Pass on the banner, guys. Do not summon on this banner. It is total bait trap to waste all of your Sky Stones and bookmarks before the collab comes out. So no matter how good, we all know how good Ken and Haste are, but pass on it and please save your currency for next week, guys. You only have one more week and then you guys can summon to your heart's content to get your limited time characters. Um, I probably am going to be streaming tonight. I'm probably going to be streaming some Mystic Summons for you guys tonight. So if you guys are wanting to see if I can get shafted again on ML Aramith, <laughs> definitely check that out. Uh, I'll leave the details probably later on today once I get out of work. But uh, definitely thank you guys so much for continuing to support. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe as always if you guys are new. And until then, guys, this is your boy for Misery Gaming, and we'll see you guys in the next Epic 7 video. Peace out, guys.